Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 706. Today what we're talking about is a different approach to instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, right? So our ISA, yeah, I get screwed up with the acronym all the time. Either way, um, instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization is nothing more than using something other than your hands to do some soft tissue work. Typically we see it look like this, where we take an instrument and we use these strokes and um, to, to break up the adhesion of the tissue and whatnot. Today I'm gonna to show you an alternative of that. The first thing that you're gonna notice is I'm not gonna use any emollient or cream, right? Because normally what would happen is we'd take the emollient or cream and place it down and then that would add or allow the, the, the instrument itself to glide more easily. Today what I want to do is I want to use the dry surface of both the skin and the edge of the tool to get tissue shear. So what we're going to do is a pin and stretch using um, a, 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 any type of soft tissue device. Today I'm using one by, uh, by Rock Tape. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just demonstrate the technique. Now, obviously you can do this at any place in your body. Forearms just work really well because we can move them a lot and it gives you that picture well. But I'd use the same technique on my shins or my calves or my quads, anything like that, right? So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create some tissue tension by pushing down lightly onto the skin. You can see how I kind of like cause a little convolution with the skin. So I push down, my hand is in a neutral position. As I gather that tension with the blade, all I'm going to do is just push down like that. So it's a way for me to do a pin and stretch technique. Now, here's what I like about this. I don't have to bring the tool up to restart. So you know when we do it with our thumb, how we press like this and we come down to uh, increase that tissue tension and then we bring our thumb back and come down again. In this, in this case, all I'm gonna do is slowly push uh, in any direction against which way I'm going. Like So in this case, I'm going distal to proximal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly push, but each time, I'm just gonna continue to, uh, to flex and extend my wrist. So what I'll do is I'll gather tension and I'll pull it through underneath the pressure or the fulcrum of the, the instrument. And then as I continue to move the instrument, um, I just kind of reset that, right? But the, the, the uh, pressure of the instrument doesn't change. I just continually slide it all the way back, right? So this is an alternative stroke, so to speak, that you can use using an instrument-assisted uh, soft tissue device. And uh, the really cool thing, the reason why I brought this up is because over uh, the weekend I was at this movement summit, or rock tape movement summit, and we were talking about all this stuff, and they had some really cool um, diagnostic imaging uh, through ultrasound that showed that you got actually just as much shear well, without using emollient that, that you did with emollient. I thought it was a really cool thing to bring up. So um, it's good information for you guys to have uh, if you're out there and you're using uh, any type of instrument assisted device, all right? Hope this helps you out and until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.